Hi, I'm Megan Amon. Welcome to my studio in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. So there are a couple of interesting things about this space. As you can see, I'm actually out here in the country. So this property is a farm that dates back over 200 years. Now, this space is not quite as old, but it has a really interesting history because it used to be an indoor pool. So when we moved in here, there was actually a giant hole right in the middle of where I'm standing. But the pool had fallen into disrepair and I realized that it would make a much cooler space as my studio. So my husband actually built a deck um, and then I installed the floor. And so now instead of a weird empty pool in the ground, um, I have this beautiful space that I get to work in every day. So I use this space predominantly to make jewelry. I'm a designer and a metalsmith um, and this is my space where I work and make most of my jewelry. Um, but as you can see, I also like to paint um, and sometimes I do a little bit of sewing and, and lots of other activities in here as well. And it's got all this beautiful natural light, so it's great for all of those things. For me, the importance of having my own workspace is, first of all, just so that my husband doesn't kill me because I have a tendency to let my work travel into the rest of the spaces of the house. So having this designated space with doors that I can close and its own space just really makes life so much easier on me and my husband and really our entire relationship. Plus, actually having a great studio space gives me a little more work-life balance because I can leave my computer here, shut the doors, and at the end of the day when I want to be done working, I can move on and be done. So this is the area of my studio where I actually do all of the business stuff for my business. Um, and I really like having both the business and the studio part in the same space because it allows me to jump back and forth between making and then working on marketing or planning or customer service or whatever other parts I have to do for my business. Um, so I have a couple of workspaces set up here. So I have workspace with a main computer. Um, and then if we move over here, this is where I actually keep track of all of my inventory. I don't like to keep a ton of inventory on hand for my jewelry, it actually stresses me out because to me this is money sitting here, um, but it's still helpful to have some stuff that's made and ready to ship. So I keep all of my inventory sorted here. Um, and then I have another workspace over here where I actually do all of my packing and shipping and getting orders ready to head out the door. So I actually spend a lot of time working over here. And one of the things that I really love about this space is that I needed to create a space that had a lot of storage. I've got my inventory, I've got paperwork, um, but I didn't want all of that kind of up here taking up the, the bulk of where I have to look every day. So instead I designed it with this kind of theory in mind of like store low, display high. Um, so I have now this these great floating shelves where I get to keep kind of all of my favorite stuff. So usually the assortment of jewelry that I'm wearing, um, some paintings that I've done, some pieces that I made when I was in grad school, even just little things I've found, um, you know, shells I've collected over the years, this great ring that I picked up in India. Um, so this really just gives me like this beautiful space where I can keep all the things that I kind of find that are interesting and that keep me inspired. It's really important to keep a lot of visual stuff around because that's what really inspires my business. So I wanna spend as much time as possible looking at interesting objects, interesting shapes, interesting patterns, um, because I think the more visual information that I take in, the easier it is to then create my own products and to create my own you know, visual pieces. So having this space to display things also lets me display some of the objects that are really important to me. So if I was going to save one thing in a fire, okay, it would actually be more than one thing, it would be a couple of things. Um, it would actually be these couple of paintings um, and these paintbrushes, and they all belong to my mother who passed away a couple years ago. Um, and she was an artist and she was really kind of the biggest champion of my work and the biggest inspiration for me. And so, and that's actually her here. Um, and so I have, you know, this collection of things that she's given to me or things that she's used. And so if there was a fire in this space, these would be the first thing that I would grab and save. So here is the space where I do most of my work. This is where I make most of my jewelry. Um, you know, I try to kind of stay to this space, which is organized, uh, but let's be honest, I usually spill out here onto these um, work tables, especially because I really like to uh, spread out. So I actually work, um, predominantly in steel, but lately I've been doing a lot of work with stones. So I use this table a lot to kind of really spread out. Plus I really just like having my space. But over here I have kind of all of my tools and equipment for making jewelry. So when it comes to my work, um, pretty much everything starts out <laughs> as a coil of wire. Um, so I work mostly in steel and I get these big bundles of wire and then I 
cut and form them to make all the pieces of my jewelry from the links of my chain to the settings for my stones um, and to all the clasps and findings and other pieces that I need. And actually my favorite tools to work with, I'm pretty tool minimal, I guess you would call me. I'm not minimal in anything else, but I'm tool minimal. Um, and so the tools that I could never live without um, are actually just my wire cutters and my parallel pliers. Um, and I just like these because they're great, they're heavy duty. Um, my husband and his friends, when my studio used to be in the garage, they tested all my wire cutters one day. And they were like, these are the best. They should be, they're $40 wire cutters. Um, but when you're working with steel and other heavy duty metals, a good pair of pliers and a good pair of wire cutters, definitely my favorite tools. So I've actually been working with steel for, I think it's close to 10 years now, which seems kind of crazy when I say it. Um, so I've working with the steel and making jewelry like that for over 10 years, um, but I just started working with the stones um, less than a year ago. And what actually inspired me to start working with the stones um, is that last year I went to India, and even though I wasn't there specifically to go gemstone shopping, I was in Jaipur, which is pretty much the gemstone capital of the world. I thought, okay, while well, I'm here, let's buy some gemstones. And I walked into a store and saw these beautiful black and white dendritic agates. And I thought, oh, someone made a stone that matches my brand. Um, so I immediately bought some. I had no idea how I was gonna use the stones, but I brought them home, I hung out for a while. In the end, I designed this setting that I use um, where I still work with my steel wire. And so I build these settings completely from scratch, um, welding all the pieces together so that I have this great platform that really shows off the stones on both sides. And I actually went from someone who wasn't even sure how I was gonna set the stones or if I even wanted to set stones um, to someone who is very obsessed <laughs> with now buying stones and working with stones. Um, and that's one of the great advantages of having this studio space is I can take my collection of stones and I can spread them out in this huge workspace and I can kind of work on things as the inspiration comes to me. So right now I've got um, some earrings in production and I'm actually laying out some bigger statement neck pieces that I'm starting to work on. So having so much space, even though technically I make tiny jewelry, having so much space really gives me the freedom and flexibility to play around um, and really use these stones to the best of their potential. So I mentioned that this space used to be an indoor pool and it actually holds one more surprise. This door is in fact not a closet, but it used to be the pump room for the pool, but now it actually serves as my welding studio. So welding is actually a really dirty, messy process, as you can see. Um, and so I wanna keep it contained in this really small space. So when I need to weld my steel, I actually just come in here and this is where I've got my torches and my space set up and I can close the door and weld and keep the rest of my space nice and clean. Thanks for taking the time to visit my studio. If you wanna see more of my jewelry, head to my online store at meganalman.com. And if you wanna know more about running a creative business, check out my classes on Creative Live.